What up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Influence Me. Today, we have a special, special guest. If you know, you know. If you guys have invited her to your guys' party, you guys probably don't remember her because you guys probably blacked out. But um, hey. today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got Glam Tender in the house. Hey. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. No, mijo, thank you. I appreciate you. you taking your time out of your busy day just to come and talk with us. No. And this episode or these um, podcasts or this podcast that we do, especially it's for more for business entrepreneur and like the success that you have now, especially with, with what you've done. Um, we just like to talk about your beginnings, you know, your mm -hmm. rags to riches, your struggles, your, you know, all the risks that you had to take. I'm pretty sure like every entrepreneur, like we, we take risks and a lot of people are you know doubtful on themselves mm -hmm. and sometimes they have a hard time trying to pull the trigger into like their dreams or to their goals and stuff so yeah. that's what we're going to talk about today hopefully um you enjoy our conversation and hopefully everyone that's watching enjoys this talk i'm pretty sure we're going to have a lot of fun yeah i love cheese man let's get it let's get it let's get it <laughs> well let's take it from the beginning let's go All back right. so how how did you start like bartending obviously is a big part of your life right now and yes. um how how did that come about Wow, it's funny how it came into my life. It was introduced by, how we say, I'm not embarrassed to say, I was a dancer. Hard to believe, con este bombonzazo de cuerpo que me viento ahorita, but I was a dancer. So okay. when I used to dance, the owner, he said, there's something about you that I don't like you at the dance floor. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I feel something better for you. He saw something Yeah, more. he's like, algo tienes, mija, que no te quiero allí. He said, mira, yo sé que tú tienes que trabajar y ocupas dinero, vete para la barra. Damn. I'm like, fuck, and I'm like, no sé nada, pero vas a aprender, dice, Javier te va a ayudar, en paz descansa mi amigo, um, he's, he's the one that showed me the basics, he just told me, échale esto, pretend you know what you're doing, ya con tan pedos ni cuentas se van a dar. <laughs> and most importantly, he saw potential in yes. you, he saw that, that's, that's so dope to, mm -hmm. to have someone that actually pushed you, because yeah. there's a lot of times where, you know, no one, you have to push yourself. So that's so yeah. dope that someone actually yeah. encouraged you to go to the... Yeah, and I really didn't want to continue dancing. I just did it because I... Because, well, lo, lo que pasa que I was literate. Okay. So I felt like that was, oh, that was the only job that I was going to be able to make money because at other jobs, you need to learn. You need to know how to read. You need to know how to write. Yeah. And it was hard for me. So I was like, I cannot do that because people... I'm not going to get hired. How old were you at that time? Like how, how? Uh, When I was a dancer? Yeah. I was 22. 22. And then you were just telling me before we started yeah. that you went back to school. I went to, yeah, when I was 27, I went back to school. The reason I was working at this, um, it was auto parts, it was mm -hmm. in college auto parts. I don't know if you guys know about it. No, I haven't. No, it's a junkyard in Santa Fe Springs. They have certain, like, certain oh, okay, yards. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but prior to that, I was working at a bakery. Okay. Because uh, I was married. I was, I left my home at 14. Damn. I never went home. I ran away. I was... I, I was not a trouble child, but I, I had a lifestyle with my mom that I was like, I don't want to be here. I know there's something out there for me. Okay, okay. You know, so I ran away and me junté con un hombre 10 years older than me. Damn. You know? Yeah. And it went all downhill. Me stubborn, anything. I had two kids. It went so, so bad. But I left them at 21. And I left them because, you know, he me engañó, like. Yeah. Normal topic, yeah, 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 stereotype, yeah, you know, me engaño. The last straw was because I found him in bed with my aunt, and I said, like, This is it, really. Oh, shit. You can't do this, shit. like, move yeah. on. You know, there's a better life. But prior to that, um, he era un hombre de dinero, okay. I lived a very lavish lifestyle, oh, okay, okay, okay. But it was very, I had to pay a lot of prices for it, yeah. So, but I was smart, so I used to got this job at the bakery, and I'll tell the lady, Cuando no esté él, no puedo venir. Okay, cool. But todo ese dinero yo lo guardaba. Oh. So, when it got to the point, on the, I don't want to get too much detail because it's so much, yeah. But I left them, and but you had your money saved up, I had already. my you money had... saved up. But I, I, did, I went through a lot of domestic violence. Yeah. It, he, he broke my nose. It was so much that I said, I had to say, this is it. And pues ya, lo dejé at 21. And I started my own life. And I went back to him. Después lo dejé de nuevo. And so that's the reason why you didn't finish school. That's the reason why I didn't finish school. Because I felt like I didn't need school for some reason. Because my mom made me so independent. Cocinando, limpiando. And I thought that was life. Right, right, you know? right, right. Pero no. I realized that I needed it, but when you entered college, other parts, I was the kind of person that I would observe. Mm. 
visual visual what what they do so i can have a higher rank mm -hmm. so i can have people do stuff for me okay 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 so they won't notice what i que no sabía mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i see yo dura ahí seis años but it still didn't make enough money because they deported my mom at 16 so i was the head of the household i had a month and mis three siblings and my two kids Damn. So I really had a hustle. And what I made at the college auto parts, it was like 20 bucks an hour. But yet to have, you, you know, four, kid, four or five yeah, kids under tough. your wing at a young age, it was tough. hard. So por eso entré en dancing. Wow. And then um, me, corrieron de, me corrieron de college auto parts, um, justamente. And then I started working at this clothing store because I love fashion. And, I can um, tell you always dress <laughs> like you're you. always dressing like top notch every thank time we you, go to Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Y aparte, este, um, ahí también bien, uh, una morenita me hizo, se, me hizo un cuatro, but bendito Dios, no salí manchada because they saw it wasn't me. But then I was like, I cannot be doing this. I need to go back to school because yeah. Technology, it was, I was seeing it was growing so much. I, I didn't know what the fuck to do. I never had a MySpace. I didn't know how to control the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So that's why I decided at 26, I decided to go back to school. So and cool. I went to the college and I told the counselor, you know what? I don't know how to read and write. The only basic things I know is to write my name and put my birthday and spell and and me. Damn. Like literally like the simplest two letter words. Yeah. And I said, I have to start from the bottom. Yeah, start from the beginning. And I did. I started um, ESL. I started like second grade level. And no, I, it was very frustrating because I was like, how? ¿Por qué no me entran las cosas? Y ya tenía como dos años en la escuela y nomás sentía que no aprendía. But I knew what I was learning. But no, o sea, I couldn't execute it because no me entraba. Yeah. So they did a test on me. Y salí que was, um, when you see las cosas al revés. Dyslexic. Uh -huh. I have that. <laughs> Yeah, and yeah. it was so. Isn't it hard? <laughs> yeah, it was hard. And for me, it was it was tough because I mean, you see all your 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 friends and everything understanding, and they get it, and then you're like, like, well, I don't, I don't understand. I don't get. It. That's why you're visual though, because I'm visual too, and yeah. I like to hear and see things. That's how I learned too. Yeah, me too. So I was like, and then when they told me, they okay, now you have to tell your professors this and this and that porque así para que they understand. See if you don't get a good grade, why? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I never told my professors. I'm like, no, I'm gonna. Do it the right way. Yeah. And I forced myself to learn. I will cry. Yeah, was, that's hard. It, it was horrible. Yo miraba todas. Vienen, my sisters, they're so intelligent that I will get like frustrated. And yeah. I get emotional because it's so sad when you don't know yeah. that to read. Dude, right. like you're right. like, fuck, what does this say? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So regardless, I was still dancing. And that's where I met my husband. And um, he was, I didn't want to be with him, but he, ahí se quedó pinche terco y aquí estamos, <laughs> you know? But I finished, um, he me apoyó mucho. Um, y después, este, um, ahí donde comenzó otra vez, porque yo dejé bartending when my friend passed away, which I was maybe, I want to say, 25. So after after the guy motivated you to, to try to the, do the bartending, you just did it for a while? I did it since I was like 22 to 25. Okay. You know, allí. Pero todavía voy a dar en el side. Okay. For okay. friends y así. Y no cobraba mucho. ¿Sabes cuánto cobraba? Oh, 50 dólares por cinco horas. Damn. And I swear I was making the money. <laughs> You're like balling. <laughs> because me daban tips. Oh, they give me tips. Like, oh my God, I made $100 tips. I'll go home with $150. So that's that's a cheap price, and because I, I don't know yeah. about the bar. Dude, that's not regalado. Like that's just Damn. like not even a pair of Nikes, <laughs> you know. But, yeah, but tips were were, tips were, good. were were making the one. Yeah, they were good. And the reason why I stopped too is because my kids were growing. You know, they estaban levantando, and I'm like, hold on, they're growing up, and they see me working at a you know strip bar. Mm -hmm. Like I try to take care of my image. Yeah. So yeah, I met my husband and me apoyó, and I graduated. I got my AA in criminal justice and oh, shit. interpreter sign language. Damn. For the courts. You did it. I did it. I graduated. Pregnant. Oh, shit. From my little one. Mm -hmm. I honestly thought you stopped. No, I finished. I got my so AA. you finished. So it's possible. two careers. Yeah. So it's possible. So and tell them. Tell them that it's possible because there's a lot of people out there that sometimes, again, they go through stuff like that. And everyone has situations that, like, you're, for instance, you're saying, like, your husband, abusive, domestic, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But then, I mean, 
they have to come to a point and they have to realize that it is possible no matter yeah. like the circumstances, no matter like there is always like my mom always says, yo siempre busca la manera de, yeah. de, de, de que se haga posible, you know? Yeah. So, so no, that's, that's so dope that you finished this, this yeah, school and, I did. and graduated. It, yeah. Thank you. It, it's, I just, I, I just want to tell my kids, mira, yo pasé por tantos de chiquita. I was in foster care. I like, a lot of things happened to me. It's not supposed to happen to me in the foster care. I, my my innocence was taken away at a very young age. And I tell them, if yo me hubiera sido victima de eso, no estuviera donde estoy. Like, it's sad to say, but you need... Fuck it. Te pasó. Ni modo. It's not your fault. Yeah. It's not your fault. And you need to understand it's not... I needed to understand it wasn't my fault. Right. But since I was at that foster home, I remember I used to close my eyes and like, I would see myself, I was going to be somebody. I don't know what the fuck I was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew you, you, I was here for a purpose. And I was only seven and eight. Damn. So when I used to see my mom, because my mom, she was oh, she was an alcoholic. Yo la miraba and I'm like, does she have dreams? Did, what, did she want to do something? I had so much dreams at a very young age. So when I left, I left with the dream, you know, and and it's funny how you know what you want to be. And I never gave up, but that's always have to give credit to my mom. She was very strict on me. Y me dice, if you're going to start, finish it. Yes. Porque lo que está a mitad no te da nada resultado. And, um, and it's true. And you're never going to know what, how, how far you can get if mm-hmm. you just don't try your best. Even though she was an alcoholic, look at she always made sure we had a home. She always made sure we ate. And that's something that um, I learned from her. And I guess that's why. Yo digo que Dios te da todo. Porque if, if I would have had ran away from home, I don't think I would have been able to be the provider for my family. Mm. And, you know. You had so to grow up. I had to grow up really fast. So I was like, everything happens for a reason. And do I have regrets? No. You know, I don't have not even one regret. Like, look, pasó, pasó, and you, you pasó, overcame pasó. that, and you're fucking doing your shit now, and now you're just killing it right here mm-hmm. with all your your business. Because I know that you have a whole team, and we're gonna get into that like yeah. in, in a bit. But um, but no, congrats. I, I I'm happy to hear that you actually finished yeah. the, the school and everything, and and like it on a ejemplo, you know. And I'm yeah. pretty sure you like your kids. You can say that, and 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 now they're gonna look up to you like even as a bigger, yeah. you know, influence to them, you know. Because los cabrones hate school. <laughs> I mean, Those every kid. Cabrones hate school. Every, I love every. school. I wish I can go back right now, but yeah, I'm I, too busy. I I didn't like it just because of that same reason. Back in the day, like, well, when I was in school, that that wasn't really a thing. Well, that's why I didn't really, I, I didn't, I just didn't like it. But um, I don't know. Maybe maybe if I I feel that now the things that I'm trying to do d- would help. You know, like me yeah. trying to speak. I'm trying to do this podcast because I'm trying to learn you know, uh, and better my vocabulary. Oh, yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? Do it all together, boy. Let's go to school so, together. So like, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like pressuring myself and putting myself out there. I mean, there's yeah. going to be probably people that make fun because I don't speak well. Oh, but yeah, again, somos dos. but I'm, I'm down to do it because I know that maybe school is not going to, I'm not going to like, I know myself, you know, yeah. I, go to school, I know that if I do it, I'm, I'm not going to fucking end up doing that. Yeah. Shit. But I'll, I, I'll try to figure out a different way and a different strategy to kind of get where I want to get. You yes. Know? It's so true. that's another tip maybe if you guys want to take from us mm-hmm. like just there's always a different way it doesn't have to be you know the the typical like school society. way yeah. yeah school i mean there's a, there's now youtube out there there's google there's you know tutoring yeah so like you know there's there's different ways to to get your thing yeah and that's what i tell my kids like like what they made you guys' life so fucking easy <laughs> Like your fucking life is so fucking easy. Do you think that now, not not talking shit on kids, I have yeah. kids too. Yeah. But do you think that they're like it makes them a little bit more, or do you think that they're gonna be a little bit more um, scared or weak, or not weak, but like more like because we had a struggle, I feel a little bit more, and we had a little tougher life. So now I feel that for me, it's hard with my kids to like. Yo quiero sacarlos de la vida donde yo estuve. Right, and but that's then a, that's wrong. But then it's wrong because then at the at the, at the same time there's kids and sometimes you, they don't see what mm. what we went through or they don't know what we went through and mm-hmm. we're like no valora lo que tienes because like we we wish we had this or yeah. we wish we had this type of life. You guys yeah. don't know how easy you guys have it right now, but they don't see that. So yeah. do you think that that would affect them in terms of because we didn't they didn't struggle and we did? Yeah, I think if you don't we don't let our kids struggle, they're gonna suffer. Right, big time. Like, that's a fucking fact. And I'm telling you because yo ya tengo tres. My oldest is 27, the middle one is 21, and the youngest is seven. Um, the 27-year-old, I made him responsible at six because I left his father. And he had to grow up and help him with his sister. 
My son was seven years old walking in the st- with the stroller to the bakery and I will call him, mijo, ya vente, porque tu papá no llegó, lamentablemente no fue por ti, because I, yo ya lo había dejado. Yeah. And then, siete años, dude, con el teléfono en la madre, le digo, no, y no cuelgues el teléfono, papi, hasta que llegas a la bakery. The bakery was maybe like three blocks away from the house. Damn. But he was seven, and something would kind of walk in the dark because his dad no llegaba. So Damn. this kid struggled. <laughs> I laugh because, like, my kids, I told them to come to the grid something here in the garage. They're 13. <laughs> They didn't want to come out. They were calling like, oh, look, hey, go with me to the garage. I'm talking like 15, 10 <laughs> steps. Like, you know what you're saying? That he had to walk a couple of blocks. Like, yeah. So my son, he struggled. But at the same time, I had the mom single syndrome. Okay. I protected him. To, Tiene un problema, ahí estoy. Yeah. I, so eso yo lo dañé in that part. You know, yo lo dañé because I, I didn't let him, um, ¿cómo se llama? Desarrollar. 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 Uh-huh. A poder él a resolver sus problemas. Okay. So my kids are blooming late. Mm. And I love it though. I love him. I love it because I know that when they're ready, they're going to be okay. Yeah. Instead yeah, yeah, of yeah. me hacerle caso a la gente. Es rebelde, córralo. Mm-hmm. It's because I went through shit with my kids. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, it's It was tough. tough. It's, tough. it's tough. But I never let go. I never let it go because I know if God made me a mother for a purpose, I'm, aquí voy a estar. Yeah. And I want what, what I want from my kids is that que se vayan... Uh, que spread their wings y que la caigan. Yeah. Por favor, yo le digo, caiganla. They're going to fail and then they have, they're going to learn. That's how you learn. But just remember, you have a home to come to. You have a home, you have a mom that's going to back you up. But if you do good things, because if you fuck up bad, hay que Dios te ayude y que de mí no se olvide. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And y otra vez tomé otra cosa que les digo a mis kids. I'm giving you guys the tools to be somebody. I don't care if you guys don't go to school. I don't care if you guys don't, whatever you guys want to do, do it because everything you see what mom is making is for mom. Yeah. Because the day I get old, all this, I'm selling, I'm going to fucking enjoy my oldness. <laughs> so I say that all the time. <laughs> yeah, That's I'm funny. sorry because I'm helping you guys right now when you guys need it. Yo no voy a dejar, me dejarme sin nada, todo lo que me chingue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y ustedes allá peleando, yo acá pinche muriendo, me jafé. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. And my, my kids are, are actually understanding that now. Your chips, I always tell my kids, yeah. these are my chips. I bought my own chips with my money. <laughs> yeah. When you guys are old, you're going to buy your own fucking chips mm-hmm. and eat those shits. Like, don't come fucking asking me for my shit. Like, yeah. I'll help you out right now with college and all that stuff. I'll back you up. But when it comes to like, yeah, that's the vida, you have kids, you have... Yeah, that's to belly. Yeah. You guys need to figure that yeah. shit out. My middle child, I gave her the best example. Like, it was crazy. We went to Burlington real quick. Burlington, and she saw some Jordans, badass Jordans, eh? Badass Jordans. You like them too. You're like, I shit. like them too. <laughs> and she's like, look at mom. I'm like, oh, $34. La damn, nena. They're fucking badass. Let me see if they fit me. Because they fit me, they fit you. Yeah, and I tried them on. Oh, yeah, okay. And I put them in the cart. <laughs> she goes, I got these Jordans, right? Mom, look at these other Jordans. I'm like, oh, damn, these are badass too. Let me see. Oh, they fit me, nena. Oh, yeah, put them in the cart. But put in my. Que she didn't want to go to school. She'll like, she um, sale, se salía de la escuela. Mm-hmm. She'll go smoke. Me dio un pie. Esa chamaca. Me daba un dolor de cabeza en la escuela. I even put her in boot camp. Damn. So llegó al punto, she was already out of school. Ya tenía un año afuera. Y she didn't want to do nothing. Estaba encerrada. Si quiere fumar and all that shit. I'm like, okay. So llegamos a la casa con los tenis. Y voy a mi cuarto y todo. Y mami, mis tenis, lo cual es tenis. <laughs> ¿Cuáles tenis, nena? Los que compraste, ¿cuáles compré? ¿O oh, mis tenis? Sí, son míos. Yo los compré con mi dinero que yo trabajo, niña. Si tú quieres algo, get your ass and go look for a fucking job so you can buy your tennis. And guess what? Two weeks later, she got a job at Target. And guess what? Now all her shoes are more than $300, $400. Damn, there you go. But like you're saying, it's hard. Do you, is it you hard know? for you, though? Is it hard sometimes seeing their... Oh, I'm, how old is she? She's 21. Okay, yeah. My kids right now are like a little younger, but like I feel that I don't want them to get to like... To like that point where it's like I feel bad sometimes um regañándolos yeah. or like you know their face you know like when they're small and stuff you know it's like <laughs> fuck but again like you're saying like we have to we have to be strong and sometimes I to. even cry sometimes by myself and I tell my girl like shit like I want to I can give it to him, you know? But if he's not doing his shit, I'm going to hurt him later on. Why do you reward him when he doesn't deserve exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. It's como when training a perrito. Yeah. Let's be honest. You're training your little mascota to go to the rest of a certain area. When he does it, what do you, you give him a treat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. He, knows, he, he knows he did good. 
when I'm trying to compare kids to animals, no. Yeah, no. But it's like, a, it's an example, you know Come what I'm here. saying? Come here. But that's lo que yo digo, you yeah. know, like, you treat them, like, when they do something good, you know. Los, reward them. Reward them. Yeah. That's, you guys, that's what I do. Even with the oldest one, when he does something, I reward him all the time. Like, um, he wanted those um, tennis shoes. ¿Cómo se llaman los Jay-Z? ¿Cómo se llaman esas madres? Jay-Z. Esas pendejadas. Yeah. He won. I know he won them so forever, but I want he told me that he made it happen to get into the that camp que se llama Self Made. Okay. Yo fui se los compré, tú no dije papi, para que te veas perrón, yeah. que te los mereces, que you put your part and you put your effort. You busted your ass. Busted your ass to get into this fucking camp, and it's hard to get into that gym. Yeah. They say because all the influencers and everybody goes there. Damn. So for him to do, it, and I seen that he worked for it. Then, no me dolió, pero sí me dolió porque yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, you know, you know? I know what you're saying, yeah. See, I reward him. He's like, no, mom, I don't know. Sí, papi. Then, te los mereces. Y espero en Dios que después te compres uno de cada colores con tu trabajo. That's dope. You know? That's dope, that's dope. Yeah. Well, as a mom, you're, I, I see you're there. You're even being successful in that too. So, yeah. so congratulations for that. Cause it's not easy, but yeah, we're trying, easy. girl. We're trying, I'm, boy. I'm, we're trying. I'm, I'm next. So my kids are getting to that. They're going to get to that age soon and hopefully. Yeah, just don't feel bad. Feel bad, pero no solo se muestres, mijo. Like, just let them know that there's consequences oh, in no, life. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you don't, it's, it's van a sufrir un chico. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. But then from there, like how now, how did you, I mean, because right now you're, influencer right now you go to a lot of influencer parties like how did what was your first how did was there any moment where you noticed the you blew up how did you go back to the bartending because you said you stopped oh how, yeah how, how did that all that i went back to bartending porque cuando me casé con mi husband and tenía visa mm -hmm. so traba, tenía un buen trabajo he's um construction but llegó un tiempo que ya no había trabajo and he didn't want to go ask for work because then you have visa. Y después se le va a vencer, whatever. So I said, okay, fuck it. You know what? Let's bartend. He looked at me. Like, you know what No, that's por te voy a ayudar. So I showed him. I, t I taught him how to do simple drinks. We got this big bar. It was ginormous. That fucking bar was ginormous. Yeah. And it was heavy. So but it was a mobile. It was, you guys so, started doing mobile. Yeah, we started okay. doing mobile. We fuimos con amigos. Hicimos personas diferentes. Our first, first bartending was una amiga de mi hermana for her wedding. We I loved it. And like, we can do this, you know. But a ella le cobra 150 for five hours. Ahí sí me sentía bien yeah. pinche rica. You're like, she. She's aquí, fuck. Louis Vuitton a todo lo que da. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so. And then me llevaba a mi husband. Y le dije, mi husband le puso el nombre. Se llamaba City Bar. Mm. But for some reason, my husband didn't fit the cut. Because you know him. He's quiet. Yeah. He has this like, don't come and fuck face. Like, don't yeah. come but he's not <laughs> yeah. like that. Right. He's very like, he's outgoing, but that's his face. Yeah. So I told him, you know what, papi? No. You're not cutting it. I'm sorry. I have to fire <laughs> you. You fired him. You fired <laughs> Oh, shit. You could be my security guard. You know? Yeah. So I fired him. And yo me quedé sola. Y, y sentía que agarraba más dinero. Because yo, uh, for some reason, siempre me llamaba, me, I, li I love happiness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am, I'm a happy person. Like, I love sprinkling happiness. I just love smiles. Yeah. So, I, when cada vez que iba and I see people happy, it gave me life. You know? I'm like, yeah. this is what I want to do. This gives me life. It Seeing fills people, you. It fills big time. Yeah. Pero, tuve mi niña y subí de peso. And it will, imagine from being 145, 160, being almost 300 pounds. You know, but I was in treatment so to get pregnant because mm. like 11 years, to the 11 years soltera until I found my husband. Oh, okay, okay. So it was hard. So I was in treatment and I gained all this weight. After I had my baby, he's like, oh, it's, they're going to shut down. You're going to whatever. They never did. She was like three months and I was going through depression. So I decided to take makeup classes. And... um and I didn't do it because I wanted to work in it. I wanted to do it because I wanted to feel pretty. Okay. I needed to get myself out of that mode. Because like Your I confidence. You wanted yes, to build I up the confidence. Like I felt like I was becoming the victim of, ay, soy fea. Ay, que esto. And I would see everybody like, las mujeres like around me. Ay, estoy gorda. I'm like, bitch, you're not fucking fat. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I, I felt like they were attacking me because mm -hmm. I felt very unconfident. Like, and it's, and it's true. So, entre la escuela, they saw my potential, but in the escuela donde fui primero, they wouldn't let me be me because I've always been loud. Okay. I've been loud. I've been outgoing all my life. And I felt like I didn't fit in. Y como que me, me opacaron. Mm. Después fui a otra makeup school. I paid double. And I liked it there because everybody was outgoing. 
pero eran muy triticonas y muy conflict. I'm like, mm. fuck, like, what the fuck? Like, I don't think I want to be in this industry. Yeah. Pero I mira, mean, I want potential. Trabajé, después trabajé con Univision, trabajé con art, uh, video shoots Damn. y muchas cosas. But I was always volunteering. I will never get paid. And I was like, fuck, I don't want to do this. I'm not making money. All this money and product. So look, that was my husband, el dinero. Hasta eso, I was lucky. I had a backup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't really worry about bills. But yet I knew I wanted to make more money. But después notaba que los artistas, influencers, les gustaba pistear. A <laughs> huevo. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so they would start pistear. You started noticing like. Yeah, I was like, fuck. I'm like, okay. And they didn't know I was a bartender. So I was like, fuck it. Pero dejé esa escuela on how to be a volunteer y entré a otra escuela. ¿For makeup también? Makeup. So this is your third school. Third, third, pero ahí trabajaba ya. Oh, okay, okay. Trabajaba como customer service. Pero it was, me, I'm the kind of person, it doesn't matter where I worked, it didn't matter the pay, I would work like it was mine. Because mm. I knew I needed that money. I knew that I needed to pay my bills. Mm. So yo le, yo le metía todo el corazón. You always wanted to be the best. Yeah, in your, always. Whatever you did. Yeah, so I did. And entraban las muchachitas, hola mi amor, ¿cómo están? Y las convencía. Y pinche llenaba las clases así. I would register girls real fast. Because siempre he sido muy amorosa. I can see that. I, I, I can see you doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Thank you. Yeah, and I era muy amorosa. Muy, siempre sí muy amorosa y cariñosa. So allí comencé. Um, I'm like I'm gonna start again bartending see how it works you know and I started like I would tell them oh I bartend oh really yeah yeah I must have gigs que aquí que allá whatever but llegó un punto que I wasn't seeing my growth there mm. I felt like I was just getting pushed I wanted to execute I wanted to give them my ideas I seen so much potential in that school but I felt like they wouldn't because I was the oldest one Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, I'm not embarrassed to say I'm 42 years old. Huh. So to be in the industry at a certain age is tough. Yeah. You know? So they were all young. They were in their twenties. Mm -hmm. So not pinche viejita. She doesn't fucking know whatever. But I you were open-minded and you, yeah. they were, they were I'm close. like, ah, no le pendeja. Don't believe in me. It's cool. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know? You're like. So lo dejé. And I was sitting down in my cocina, in, la, in el comedor. I was tipsy. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> And I started, I'm like, I need to do something in fucking life. Que voy a hacer? I need to shine, dude. I need to let this, esta gente saber que I'm not here just to be here. Like, que voy a hacer? You know, I need to prove to my mom that I'm somebody. Yeah. Because I left at 14, you know, and your moms are hard, especially Hispanic moms yeah. are fucking hard. Pero a ver, ¿cómo te va? Uh -huh. Te dije, cabrona. Te dije. <laughs> I'm like, damn, lady. Yeah. I just fucked up tiny bit. <laughs> you know, tiny. But then I was there and I remember I was at the table and I had names. I had like, I still had city and I had barn and I had, I had a, um, exotic and I had, I had tending and I had bar and I had all these different names. I had lip, lippy, lippy bar y cositas así, right? And I crossed them out like nothing. I'm like, I don't, it's not feeling it. I always remember and I still have the paper. I'm going to, So I'm going to um, take a picture yeah, with the little mandar. Send it, we'll put it here. Acá arriba, decía glam. Y acá abajo, decía tender. Damn. I'm like, fuck. Y ya, y nomás cerré los ojos y le dije, Dios mío, yo quiero hacer algo, Dios mío. Yo quiero que la gente vea, las, todas las personas que me hicieron daño, que no, que quiero que vea que sí puedo. Yeah. Y todas las personas que juzgan a mi mamá por ser como es, que vean que tuvo unas hijas chingonas que pudieron salir adelante, aparte de todo lo que pensaban de ella. Yeah. You know, I just... I really did, and, and I just, I crucé, and it said glam, and I'm like, oh, shit, that's my name. You're yeah, like, fuck it. Light fuck book. it. I'm very glammy. I'm very, I like bling bling, and I'm, I'm, I love drinking, you know? So that's me, and the next day, we had a Norwalk City Records, Records, yeah. Records City? Yeah, to register. Yeah, así se hizo, no? Records, City, City Records, or como? I, I, I don't know that. Oh, that's no, because you guys know what I mean. Yeah. That, yeah, that. So I paid the registration. I paid the trademark. I got the trademark, it was kind of difficult, but it's, It was kind of a little harder, so I had yeah. to get something like lawyers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Pero also, you went like you I knew went, that was your name. That I was knew. Your... I went straight the next day. Damn. When I was in the car, I called my brother. Well, he's not my brother. Somos amigos de 23 años. Okay. Um, But you consider him as a bro yeah, brother. Yeah, he's my brother. My brother de la vida. I called him like Eric. Like um, Edgar. He's like, ¿Qué? I'm like, ¿Qué crees que hice, güey? ¿Qué hiciste, cabrona? <laughs> No, fui a gastar el dinero que tenía ahorrado porque ya hice trademark mi nombre y esto. Oh, sí, ok, mija, está bien. Because he, he's not in the social media. He yeah, doesn't yeah, know yeah. the world. He's like, I don't know yeah. what the fuck. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, whatever. He doesn't know. Pero ya llegué a la casa. I stayed quiet. I didn't tell my husband nothing. I kept him. I'm like, ¿sabes qué? Cambié el nombre. Me voy a llamar Glam Tender. Oh, okay. 
just like yeah but nobody knew what i really did mm. i was like fuck like and then you're like if you ask me for money what the fuck i'm gonna tell him but i'm gonna tell you that he never gave me money does right? he know now he knows now okay. he's like cabrona <laughs> he's like te casaste los ahorros <laughs> how much oh, if you don't mind like how much like around like how much um, was the that? registration was 75 and the uh, trademark because i got the lawyer it was like a thousand two hundred oh shit damn yeah so it was worth it though for me at that moment because I, I felt so hard about it. But it was a little bit of a risk because I mean you just came up with that name and you went straight to do that, yeah. you know. So you 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 risked. Yeah. You but as soon as I saw the name, I I visioned myself. I already yeah. knew. I already know my the the style I wanted. I already knew the community I wanted to hit. I already knew everything, everything. that came with it. Yeah. You know. And I remember I used to sit in the tables and okay, fue la escuela dije sabes qué. Voy a cambiar mi nombre en Instagram. Ya no va a ser Makeup by Rosemary. Va a ser Glam Tender. No, mentiras. I told the hairstylist, but I didn't tell them the name I, I chose, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is crazy. This is why I knew it was Gonna it hit. was meant to be. Yeah. Um, I said, hey, you know, I want to be a bartender, but I don't know. I don't want to be basic. Girl, won't they Glam Tender? Oh. I was like, fuck, it's meant to be. Damn. That's right. On the spot. And I told them. That's my name. Shut up now for real. Yeah, le dije. My God, I'm so happy for you too. You can do this. You can do that. Yeah. Así comenzó. And my, my first um, influencer, I don't know if you know her. Her name is Lupe MUA. No, no. She's an influ Instagram influencer. Okay. She's like very good with makeup. Okay. She was the first one que me dio la oportunidad. Y the first one that ever videotaped me was um, Abraham. Abraham. Yeah, he's a super He was the first one. Good. And I tell him, I wish you had all the clips of me. He did me since he videotaped me since the beginning. How what year was it? What was the year? I want to say it was 2014. 2014. Yeah. Damn. 2014 or yeah, yeah, around there. Yeah. Damn. So I wanted and, and I asked him. He doesn't have the footage no more. But I wish I would ask him for the footage because I see the difference since I began to now. The beginning to now is like fuck. Damn. It's crazy. So was it was that like the blow up, that influencer? or which, No, what, it wasn't the blow up. It was just people didn't see the concept of the name. Okay. Because when you hear glam tender, we're like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. You know, like, I don't get it. To me, I did glam because I'm a makeup artist. And tender because I'm a, I'm tender, not Jaya. I'm bartender. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a bartender. So yeah. like that fuck that goes, you yeah. know. And I wanted to hit the makeup industry. I wanted to be in the makeup industry, and I wanted to be in the bartend bartending industry. But with influencers, celebrities, I wanted all that glam stuff. Mm -hmm. And I felt this is it. And then poco a poco, comencé poquito, but on the war I blew up. Y siempre le voy a dar las gracias a ella. And I tell her everywhere I go and I want, if she hears this, and you're, you're actually, you're actually, like, the, mm -hmm. from the makeup stop. Honestly, mija, ella la que me abrió las puertas. You open the doors to me to everything that I'm doing now. And I'm always going to give her credit for that. I'm never going to say not, not the contrary because I'll be lying. Yeah. When I hit her up because she was going to do Kenya. And I told you, know what? Hold on, meet and greet? Yeah. I told her I was going I, I was going to sponsor they told me yes right away, not even knowing the concept. But she told me, there's no alcohol. Don't worry. I can do them virgins. Damn. Yeah. Y ahí comencé. Y la primera, dude, it was funny because going a little bit back, um, I was sitting at the table with my family. Y les decía, I'm going to bartend for all the fucking YouTubers. I'm going to bartend for the celebrities. Watch. I'm going to bartend for Cheekies and Larry. And they're looking at me like, mm-hmm. Fucking crazy. That's been they had. Yeah. Like, you know? Mm -hmm. And I, But I will say with so much confidence, it was crazy. And then when I bartended, literally, personally, for Larry in Kenya, my husband was like, oh, you did it. Okay, you know? But when I got chiquis, no, vieja, se me quitó el sombrero y se eres chingona, you yeah. did it. I did it less than a year. Fuck. So that that was that was quick then for it you. It was quick. And the, I feel like where, if I got where I'm at, it's not so much because I'm a, business per, a good business person. I have heart. When you have heart and passion for what you have, people are going to see it. And what I notice is that you're really confident. So I think that goes a long way. I tell everyone that tries to start a business is you have to have a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah. And, and you have, you, as a mira, as a nota, like that, yeah. you have a lot of confidence. And don't be scared of failing. Yeah. When I fail, I'm happy because I know I fucked up and next time it's going to be better because I'm learning for what I fucked up. In. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And there's a thing I always tell myself too. I never say the word try. Mm. I never try. I do it. Mm. If I did it wrong, but I did it. Yeah. 
Because if I, if you keep in your mind, say, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, you're trying, not do, you're not going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a difference between trying and there's a difference between doing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? And that's why I tell my kids too, don't say, I'm, I'm trying, mom. Don't fucking tell me you're trying. Tell me that you're doing it. Yeah. You know, that's me. And I've, uh, that's how hard I'm on myself. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. That you're going to go at it a hundred percent, not yeah. just also try. Don't do it at all. Pussy fucker. Okay. You're going to waste your time. Yeah. That's crazy. So in terms of like, you're saying that you're not too much of the business aspect of it but i'm i'm pretty sure like you're i mean you have fucking gucci and you have your house and you have a good like how what is some good tips for people out there that want to start that business aspect let's just talk a little bit more about like the business aspect of it was there a strategy into like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna hit them up because when i did my videography i wanted to strategize i strategize everything that i do mm -hmm. i'm gonna do them and then from there i'm gonna get to them and then from there i'm gonna get to them and i'm just gonna keep on going yeah you, it's going to sound crazy. No, I didn't. No. I didn't. I just knew I wanted to bartend with celebrities and YouTube. I, don't how the, I didn't know how the fuck I was going to get there. But yo dije, being honesta, tiene una corazón, and being who I am, gonna it's going to get there. there. Mm. And, but I would, I'm not going to be, I'm not, también te voy a decir, yo miraba, okay, they're outgoing. Okay, they're not outgoing. Okay, yeah, así. I will go with people that are more animals, party animals, mm. you know, because I'm a party animal myself. Mm -hmm. But I really didn't have a strategy. Till then, this day, I don't. Right, right. Me sale, na it's just natural. Like, I'll do it because, me sale y bendito Dios ya me buscan. Yo antes buscaba. They hit you up because you have good vibes and you yeah. bring the party to and them. And I'm crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have, well, my, my sister wanted to ask you a question. Well, I told me to ask you, like, uh -huh. is there any, is there any time where you drank Oh, actually, it was you, right? You wanted to know, like, is there any time where you, because you drink with them, right? Yeah. You drink with influencers, you party with them as yeah. well. Have you ever got blacked out? Have you ever got to the point where you're like, fuck? At or, parties? Or, or do you just, or, or do you take fake shots just because you know? Um, like, you're like, right? Oh, you're <laughs> um, no, I haven't blacked out no party. I have blacked out on my own party. <laughs> but not parties. Um, I know how to control my my tolerance for alcohol. Okay. Yeah, there's times I take fake shots. I'm not going to lie. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. And people think I'm a fucking borracha de las primeras. I am not a borracha. I just like to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, we're at, I don't drink on a daily basis. I just drink on the weekends. I save my liver through what, Monday through Friday. Because <laughs> Sunday le hasta lo, todo lo que da. But the thing is, I don't, I don't drink with, at every party. Okay. Um, I know how to keep my, I know how to be professional. Um, yeah, people book me because they want me to get drunk with them. Mm. But I do, I do my little show. And I give it to what they want at the moment. But I don't know. I'm not really. You're like, no. No. Oh. I blacked out on my party. I almost got divorced. Was it this last one? No, it was the first one I did for myself. Oh, the first one? It was one. the Bollywood one. Okay, okay. Dude, it was bad. I'm like, I don't even know how I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I didn't know how drunk you were in your last party. Thank, by the way, thank you for, for reaching out. Like, oh, for, no, for you're welcome. Invite. Dude, that was, that that was, was not my birthday, though. No, I know it was your, uh -huh. it was your, you know, your yeah. celebration thing. But, you're um, welcome. But yeah, I, I I didn't know how drunk you were that day. I noticed like everyone was trying to get you sh like drunk. Yeah, and I'm you even had your security right with you. Yeah, I had my security, <laughs> and he was like, "No more." And I was like, "When you said no more, I'm like, <laughs> I want to drink." But I'm so happy he didn't let me because I know it's a drunky host, it's a sloppy host, it's not nice. Yeah. But yeah, I was I was so happy, dude. Did you tell me some influencers were that uh, that event? Quantos influencers I had under one roof? Yeah. I, I, I have the clip where, where Laura surprised you. Oh, yeah? I, I oh, that. Laura, thank you. Te amo, niña. It was so dope. Like, I, I noticed that you were like super happy that she was there because it was yeah. it's unexpected. Stuff. It's unexpected. Did, I don't know if you get to, um, you got to meet him, like Rob the original. No, 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 no. Dude, this hombre, speechless talento. Like, you should really see his talent. Like, he does like portraits with Sal. Okay. I've seen his work. Yeah, I know, yeah but I just have but never met him. When... When my friend Glam by Jesse told me that they wanted to go, I couldn't believe it. Because he's one million followers. Like, the fuck? Like, he no he notices me? Like, he knows who I am? Like, to to go to that level that like, you don't know como haces ruido? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. fucking crazy. How far is your reach? You know? Because tú piensas que no haces ruido, pues estás haciendo un chingo de ruido. Right, right, right. You know? And that's amazing. Like, I had like 30 influencers under one roof. It was crazy. There was a lot of people there. It was a lot. And it was a big space. And I didn't know if we could fill it. I was scared I was not going to fill it up. I was like, no, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Y cuando miraba, ting, 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 ticket, ticket, ticket. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm selling. Yeah, yeah. 
you know no and i noticed that everyone was having a good time everyone was vibing out everyone was just yeah. like fucking partying they're there to drink because you know there's some parties where influencers go and like sometimes they don't drink as a videographer i noticed that you know mm-hmm. like sometimes they just go and obviously support mm-hmm. but everyone was having a good time everyone was drinking everyone was dancing yeah. i think it's like i'm telling you once again it's el corazón que tienes es right. lo que vas a regalar si tú regalas felicidad es lo que vas a recibir mm-hmm. you know pero si vas a regalar that you're being stuck up you're like whatever que no te pesta la caca that's what you're gonna have you know right 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 yeah. right that's crazy that's crazy well i, I like i like the whole the whole story because i mean you. again it's 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 to admire you know because again is has it been hard to like being a woman or being a female in the industry has there been moments where también like there's people que se pasan and shit like try to aprovecharse de ti because you're a woman it's hard yeah has there been like any crazy stories that you have that you can share that yeah i had a story where um i with this person that he had money and he hired us and he just wanted two girls and usually my husband's there he's like no más que los dos porque whatever i'm like okay but i told my husband stay outside you know and we were there and ya estaba entradito and he's told me you know what porque i hired you i'm like because i have nice service mm. you know no i hired you because tú me gustas what the fuck i'm like oh okay cool you know Dice, luego, oh, luego, pues tu señora está bien bonita. Like, what the hell? Like, no, a mí no me gustan así, me gustan como estás tú. Con carnita. I'm like, oh, well, at least you like my body. <laughs> But I said, no, baby, I'm sorry. And they, no me dejaban paz. I felt so uncomfortable. When I would give him a drink, he would get my hand. So mm-hmm. I got really pissed. There's this thing that we do as bartenders. Dame tu mano. When you get, when te dan esta, you go like this. Oh. And that's what I did. But I got the nerve, like the nerve. Y las hay cabrón, las así. And for some reason, I don't know how drunk people understand to stay away damn it's something when they're drunk it triggers them so you guys have your little thing yeah. that you guys do too yeah and that's what yeah and i don't know that's what i do that's what that's the the whole the most thing like like it was so uncomfortable for me because me rosaba when i'll go do the thing yeah, me yeah. rosaba i felt so uncomfortable that i had to leave i picked up my stuff and i i didn't care i gave him his money y yo me fui y me dice, ¿qué pasó? Él ató a mi husband. Mi husband, no, o sea, sí se enoja, pero no es, peleone, no es peleonero. Yeah. He's like, no me da gusto que te sabes defender. Mm. You know? I mean, that's, yeah. that's, what, that's what, he doesn't have to defend you. You'll fuck him. Oh, I'll fuck him up real quick. <laughs> ¿Se se real pasa? Quick. Uh-huh. <laughs> pero I have to keep it professional. Y estaba su señora allí y me daba pena. Like, mm. like, she was so beautiful, though. Yeah. You know, bien, arre, bien operadita. Like, she looks so pretty, though. Like, men are men, regardless. You know? Yep. So that's we're dogs. Yeah. We're dogs. Sorry. I apologize in behalf of all guys. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucking assholes. Well, yeah, no, también hay mujeres. No yeah. creas, como hay hombres, hay mujeres. Mm. No, no somos, ellas no son santitas porque yo no quiero ni un plato. Yo soy niña de Dios. <laughs> <laughs> I told my wife, I'm a good boy. So. I'm a good girl. Yeah, I'm a good girl. But I'm wild. People, you know what people tell me? I don't know if you noticed. I'm crazy as fuck. I get fucking lit. I fucking hump the floor. I, I take shots. I have, I have all the recordings. <laughs> See, and my husband's like, whatever. There's been times, I'm going to be honest with you, where I, it was in Louis' party. Um, I was recording you, and I seen you in the ground just shaking, and I was like, I don't know if I should record this. Like, I don't know if I should. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. there's times where yeah. I'm like, okay, like, everyone else was still as, like, mm-hmm. those influencers, and everyone's just like, they're drunk and yeah. stuff. But like you're the you're like you're the bartender. So at, at that point I was like, shit, I don't know. I was like, but she's getting down. everyone's recording with their phones. So I was like, dude, like she fucking gets down. Like, fuck it, yeah. whatever. So I just started recording and fucking <laughs> posting. I was like, hopefully she doesn't get mad, but no, that's it's dope. Like, it's dope that yeah. you like you and, vibe out though. And I wasn't drunk though. No más que me dijo, me dijo este um Louis, come on, just do this. And I felt like fuck, I have to do it. If they, he hired me it's for this reason. The show. Like, yeah, show, like hype up, you know? Ponte las pilas, cabrona. Like, but it was hard because I had like full staff at the bar. Yeah. And I have to keep control. Get us no, I'm I'm responsible. Yeah. You see, yo, you have to make sure. Yeah. That's what I wanted to talk about too. Like you have a team now that you you guys yes. you've gotten so big that you already have a yeah. little empire that, that yeah. you run. Yeah. How has that been? Has it uh, the transition from just you? Because as a business owner, I mean, yo, I have my team. That's like sometimes it's a little hard to, you know, the, the, I feel for me it's a trust. Like, are they going to do a good job? It's my name. Yeah. You know, are, are they going to be on time? You know, are they going to deliver what the client wants? Mm-hmm. How is it? Has, has it that's been? That's been one of my biggest struggles. One of my biggest struggles that there's times that I want to give up on it because mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck. How can people not be responsible? How can people just expect just to get the money? Mm-hmm. You know? Look at it as just yeah. a job. So just... for one of those situations, that's the reason I have a tattoo on my arm. 
of my own logo. I see. Because I was going to give up on myself. I said, no, you can't give up on her. Why are you going to give up on her? She's your dream. Mm. Y si otras personas no te van a valorar, que, sorry, que chingan a su madre y tú sigue. Yeah. You know? And it's, I just feel like bartending, a mobile, it doesn't have to just be glam tender. Any mobile bartending business, it's a lot of commitment. Mm. It's a lot of driving. It's a, five hours standing up, two hours driving, you know, lo que tú quieres. A lot of commitments, very tedious, and it's hard to commit your weekends. Yeah, you're, 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 you're um, sacrificing your family's mm-hmm. time and kids. And yeah. Y el pay para los, para los workers puede que valga la pena porque it, it's more than 20 bucks, I can tell you that, per hour. Mm. So el que realmente mira, mira beneficio con eso y los tips, you know, it'll be, les, les conviene. Right, right. Pero también there's a lot of, um, ¿cómo se llama? It's labor work. It's you hard know, work. It's hard, it's hard like work. setting up. You know, serving the drinks for five hours, um, keeping a smile on your face. I tell my work, put Vaseline on your teeth, girl. <laughs> put Vaseline on your teeth. Smile the whole fucking night. <laughs> you know. And I tell them, there's, there's, all, there's all kind of tippers. There's yeah. no tippers. There's late tippers. There's all night tippers. Pero I tell them all the time, I know your worth the thicks on your tip jar. Mm. Soon as I see that tip jar, I know how good your worth the thick is. Oh, okay. You know. Because I lived it. I know how it is to have that customer service and get that tip jar full. Right. You know? But it's it's hard. There's people that call out on me day, that same day. Damn. There's people that call out for me a day before. Your gut just There's, drops like, Dude, fuck. it drops. <laughs> I know. And it's hard because, I, like, fuck, I'm not, we're not McDonald's. Yeah. We're not BJ's <laughs> that we have fucking staff on yeah. call, you know? Yeah, we have small I business. I need a shot for this. I'm already getting into the tema. Give All me right, a shot. Give me a shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give them take the shot. Agarra valor. So, um, special bottle, bottle my got a, favorite. Got hey, a special bottle. I hit her up. I was you. like, "What do you want to drink?" Yeah, I'm a whiskey chick, but I'm getting into the tequila a lot. It's really good. You want? Oh, you can't taste that. I don't drink. Get water. I'll get water. I'll get yeah. water. Yeah. Put them shot. Put that one shot glass. It smells so good. Have you? We want one. You want to try it? Try it with me. That's what he was telling me. I brought I brought a shot glass, and he's like, "You only brought one." And, and I was like, "Wait, well, I don't drink, bro." And he's like, "Well, what about us? Like, I she know, can't right? drink by herself." I'm I like, know. Yeah, you're right. You sip it or you down it? Uh, you sip it. Yeah. If you learn how to sip it, you'll learn how to drink mezcal. You have drink mezcal before? Oh, mezcal is fucking bomb. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cheers, puppy. Hey. I'm gonna sip it, okay, guys, because I'm I'm driving. <laughs> it's sweet. Yeah, it's good. Yeah? Yeah, it's good. It's good. You don't drink either? I do, but uh, we're we're saving it for the weekend. I drank a lot yesterday. <laughs> oh, this highly recommend you this yeah. one. It's sweet. It's really I'm good. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. It's really good. And I'm not a so drinker, so. Oh, you're not either? What do you uh, like to drink? Um I'll drink whiskey. Yeah. Oh. Coke. oh. Uh, so, but beer, mostly beer. Beer? Oh, yeah. no. My favorite whiskey is Johnny Walker, Black Label, or Blue. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if when I'm poor and I don't have enough money, cuando no me fue bien la semana, I, you know, I get the red label. But <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ni modo. <laughs> ni modo, pero I, I, I still have it, you know? Oh, yeah, well, going back to that, like, yo me quedé sin staff. A time, there's a time, there's time where you. There's a time que me quedé sin staff, and I was full up the ass. Fuck. Y it was scary. It ya was quedaste, scary. Pues, ya ya quedaste, quedé, ya, I you're... had deposits. Quedé. And like, fuck, what que voy a hacer? And I'm like, you know what? We got it. I was with one of my girlfriends. We went to Tempo Cantina. And we were, we were there since 11 o'clock till 6 o'clock p.m. Tomamos. Le dimos dinero a Tempo. Le dejé casi todo mi cheque. You were drinking. We were drinking. Because I was so like... Stressed. Stressed out. And I told my friend, I'm going to go tat glam tender on me. What? Yeah. No, you're drunk. No, I'm going to go tat it. I'm going to, she's me. She's mine. Like, I'm not going to give up on this bitch. Like, we, we got this. And I went to go tap my level on myself. Sure, sure. And then, so, so I had a lot of criticas. Much of said, oh, you're crazy. That's so dumb. I'm professional. If I'm crazy, 
because I believe in myself and I'm stupid because I did believe in myself, I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, I'm fuck, fuck it. What fuck you it. Yeah. You know, soy pendeja, soy stupida, everything because I believe in myself. Pues la pendeja son ustedes because that means you're weak-minded. Yep. You know, and maybe it's not the good way to show it, but this was my way to lash out, yeah, to give yeah, myself yeah, yeah. more energy and power again to go con todo yeah, lo que da. Yeah. And since then, um, I've still been having fallouts with staff. But that's a never-ending story, That's a never-ending story. That's going to always, that's always going to be like that. I, even with my family members left me hanging, knowing there's a very important event, and I said, you know what? No, yeah, I'm done. I'm not going to start the year with the same thing. I've been I've been struggling with it, and I've been thinking it's okay. It's not okay. So I called my manager, and I said, um, Eric, he's like, well, um, I'm, we got to hurry up and get staff. I need it by the 15th. What do you mean, Glam? I'm, I let everybody go. Restart. Restart. Why? Because people can't work on the 15th. People can't work until fe- after February 14th. People can't work until March. You know what? Fuck that shit. I'm over here struggling, trying to get gigs to pay my bills and your bills. And you tell them you can't come? Yeah. I'm doing the most hard part. Yeah, you're the brand. You're the one that needs to you be know? out there, you know, so, your, your face and everything. So, Eric, pobrecito, lo tenía en chinga, finding interviews. And he's like, oh, I found Hulana, but she she has her own mobile, mobile bartending business. I'm like, no. And I'm like, why, Glam? It's not because, it's not the competition. I'm not scared of competition. I I love it. It feeds me. Because I compete with myself and I want the otra gente. The reason why I do not like working with other people that work in the same thing as me is because when I need them, when I send out the the schedule two months ahead of time, they're going to tell me, oh, I can't this day, this day, mm. this day, because I'm working over here. Right, they have their own business. What? I'm stressed out trying to find coverage when I thought I already had a staff to cover it for. Like, I'm not going to go through that no more. Mm. I, I went through it for a while, and I'm not going to go through it no more. So I do have a confidential agreement. I do have an employment uh, uh, employee agreement. It's not because I'm scared of the taking my stuff. I just want them to see that I am for reals. Mm. Like, You're legit. I'm You're... legit. I'm not going through the fucking bush. Like, yeah. it, whatever you see here... And, Como yo te respeto tu environment, te respeto, también quiero que me respetes a mí. Quiero que respetes a Glam Tender. Because she has gone through a lot and she's still here thriving. And do you have, like, obviously you create your own drinks. Do you have, like, recipes that there's a possibility someone else can take or there's a possibility that, that they juke you and it's like... Yeah, and I have the confidential agreement includes all that. Okay. But this is what I tell myself. They can have all that they want. Mm-hmm. They can go and take all my recipes. But you know what they don't have? me they don't have the person that brings the love and the happiness to every party she stops mm. she puts her foot in she doesn't have that i just had an incident and i'm gonna i'm gonna, I, I'm gonna talk about it fuck like me hablo una muchacha y me dice um i just went to my my friend's party and the service was horrible i'm like oh shit i'm like what party like like, what event, mija? She told me the day. I'm like, oh, no, mija. Like, I was in Mexico. Oh, she thought it was you. Yeah, I'm like, no. Yeah. She had the filler. She had that thing you go around, take shots, and she was dressed just like your employees. Oh, I'm like, no, shit. baby. It wasn't me. It wasn't my employees. I'm sorry. And I mean, you know what? I'm happy she's doing it. And porque sale el sol para todos. Mm. Pero me da tristeza. Si en dado caso, yo no sé si está usando... Mi nombre o cómo le está haciendo, está, no, está. pero mi estilo, su estilo de, el estilo que está agarrando de mí y su servicio, I, it's, it's coming to me. Yeah. And I'm not responsible for that. And I'm like, no, mija. I'm like, I don't know. I, no, I wasn't like, yeah, yeah. And she even sent me a screenshot. I'm like, mija, I'm sorry, but it's not me. It's not me. And I'm not going to go back and forth. If you want to believe it, believe it. But trust me that my employees, I really put my hand in fire for them. I train on myself and they know how strict I am. Yeah. Because there was an cosa. I'm hard on my, my employees. I am because I'm hard on myself. Um, me pueden ver muy amorosa, muy cariñosa, pero tengo un carácter que luego yeah, me prendo. Yeah. yeah. You know, they have to come with their A game, you know, yeah. like to work with something yeah. like for you. Yeah. So whatever you send your resume, that's what I'm going to believe you are. But when I see you not executing what I read, like oh I'm ha- I'm I'm joyful and da da da, but then in the bar they're like just yeah, I'm like no, you gotta go, <laughs> you know. But that was an incident that apenas me pasó, and I'm like, I like I told my husband, fuck, how many times has she went to go give service and they think it's me, mm. you know? It's sad, 
And Kishiro told me there was a hair, there was a hair in my in my drink. Girl, our hair's always up in the bun. Like, yeah, she had hair in her face. I'm like, no, girl, that was definitely not my girls. <laughs> my girls are not allowed to have their hair suelto. You know, y que si te fijas, I'm very hygiene mm. in todo eso. I'm very hygiene. Especially yeah. now with the whole situation with that we're in the pandemic. Oh, did that did that affect your no, business? No, not even. I think I got I became richer. Really. Sorry to say, y que Dios me perdone y le doy todo el respeto a las personas y mi corazón las que han sufrido, los que han perdido familia. I me puede. Mm. Pero unfortunately, my business didn't stop. It grew. Pues todos estaban encerrados queriendo pistear. I made money <laughs> selling my my drink, my mixed drinks. People were telling me um, they were kind of pricey. Take them or leave them. I put work into them. They're all made, handcrafted. You set your prices. I set my prices. And I do get people say, now I get people saying that I'm expensive. Mm. And I, I love them to say I'm expensive because I worked hard to get to that expensive part. But I prefer que me digan, she's fucking expensive. What the fuck? Que me digan, ah, pobre pendeja, es bien barata, pero yeah. también buenos sus tragos. Right, right. You right. know? Or her service is excellent, pero es bien barata. Agárrenla. Yeah. No, no, quiero que me agarren because I'm giving a good service. Mm. You know, and I'm lo I love when they say, oh, you're expensive. Que bueno. If I was so expensive, why am I busy the whole year? Mm. And not because I'm being cocky, but it's the truth. Like, yo creo que el precio tiene que ir con el valor del trabajo. Yep. And then there's clients for everyone. There's mechanicals yeah. that charge like $20 to fix your car, pero así te lo dejan. You know, yeah. there's me there's mechanics that charge a lot of money and they, mm -hmm. they fucking, they leave your shit like legit. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with, even with videography, they say that I'm expensive as well, you know, like, but I tell them like, well, I mean, I've built my brand to what what it is now, and 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 the trust that I have with people. So, I mean, I I set my own prices. I don't I don't price my prices for uh, like depending on the market, you know. Oh yeah. So si un si yeah. un si un bato cobra dos mil por foto video, like pues está bien, like mm -hmm. bendiga, you know. Yeah. It's cool. Fuck it's it. Cool, yeah. But uh, that's not what I'm gonna charge. Yeah. And sometimes have they done that to you where they come up? No, pues allá mi primo me cobra, you know, this shit por eso, like yeah, that's too expensive because they say that shit a lot to oh, me. Oh yeah, me too. Oh um, me dice una muchacha, I know. Pues mejor que me haga mi sobrino, porque mi sobrino sabe. Ah, oh, pues desde cuándo lo hubiera puesto. <laughs> You know, I, that means I'm not made for you and it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. I've learned and I and I was just talking to one of my friends today before I came here. Um, it's okay to understand you're not for everybody. Mm. Because that what makes you special makes you unique. Mm. You know, because lo que es special, lo que es unique, not everybody has it. Yep. You know, so it's good being expensive. It's good to know your value. Mm. Pero tampoco no te pases. Yeah, 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 of course. You know, no te pases. O sea, tampoco, tampoco, tampoco. Yeah, you yeah, need to yeah, understand. Yeah. You know, and the only thing is, I think the difference was with me that I made a brand. I made the name, I made a brand for Glam Tender now. Mm. Like, people see what Glam Tender is because if I change something about, like, that's not Glam Tender. Like, if I go in with just a regular outfit and without a bow, like, wait, that's not Glam Tender. Yeah, they're paying, they're paying for the, for like the style that you bring mm -hmm. and the almienta that you bring, you know? Yeah. Like, so that's, that's, yeah. that's dope. Especially with the shot cart now. You can see how crazy yeah. we get with well, that yeah, shot Yeah, I've seen that. We're crazy. Was that, who's like, was that already existed or something? Yeah, that was in the works when, before the pandemic started. Okay. Um, My husband already had the, ¿cómo se llama? El marco y todo, like, and we were, he's, he even told me, ¿dónde chingo agarraste esa idea? Like, ¿Cómo? I'm like, si te pones a pensar, viejo, le dije yo, cuando vas a un club, ¿cuánto cuesta el servicio de, de, de botella? Mm. No bajan de 300 dólares, right? Right. It's bottle service. Yeah. And, and you're taking shots. What if I can bring a mobile bottle service with shots to a party? <laughs> Dice, ¿cómo? I'm like, I don't know. I'm giving you my idea. You fucking bring it to You fucking bring it to life. Bring it to life. Get, get to work. Get to work <laughs> right now. <laughs> Okay, si no, I, Dios te ayude porque yo lo quiero now. So he figured it out. He first said, oh, como un carrito de, de las nieves. Like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> your horn and shit. Yeah, my heart, you're, you're like, no. And I visioned it just the way it is. Yeah. The first one he did, it was made out of wood because he was mimicking it. Like, he didn't know what to do, but I needed it like that. Mm. He, he did that one, like, because ya tenía toda la lechura. We just didn't know how to um, taparlo. Mm. He did it out of wood and it was fucking heavy. But the next, the second one we did at LD, LED yeah. with acrylic. So that was easier. But yeah, when he saw the idea and he, he saw it built, he said, la neta, vieja, he said, eres chingona, me quito el pinche sombrero, porque quién va a pensar de llevar and it's bottle a hit. service. It's a hit. Yeah, right? With shots. Now I see a lot of people like mimicking 
Be, uh, this is what I say. I don't know if you agree, but I don't want. I'm not trying to be cocky, but I'm just saying. I people see me with gadgets, mm-hmm. and I go around and I do the gun, I do everything. But I feel like the gadgets didn't make like glam tender. Mm-mm. I think glam tender made the gadgets in a way. Because if you give, if you're happy, if you hype people up, and in the, the day the gadgets don't matter. They oh, want I the know vibe. what you're saying. Yeah, no, you're you're right. right. You're right. You're right. So those things could exist, but you brought them to life. Yeah, glam tender. Yeah. Glam tender brought those things yeah. to life. That's what I see now. Like, and I and I see a lot of people with the gadgets, and I'm happy because that means I'm doing something right. I don't even get mad at it. You made that a thing. I'm happy they're doing it. But give me credit, guys. Please. Yeah. Just say, oh, thank you, Glam Tender, for the idea. <laughs> Let them know. Yeah. Because <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they overlook stuff like that. And, mm-hmm. and like you're saying, for instance, that situation with the, the whole bow thing. Or, or yeah, but am I lying, though? No, like that looks exactly like, <laughs> like you, your style. So yeah. it's so fucked up. Yeah. And, and, I, and I felt bad, not because she, she took the style, the service, the, goes up, the review of the mm. service. Making you look bad. Like, I wish who she was so I can tell her, Mama, you're doing something wrong. They hit me up and yeah, yeah, you're yeah. fucking up. Yeah. You know, fix it. Yeah. You know, that's what I would want. That's what I would do. Mm. Because I'm happy she likes my style because, like I'm telling I'm doing something right. Right. But right. I, I need to help her. I wish I knew where she was at. <laughs> Honestly. What, 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 what is like some of the, like the most popular drinks that people ask for? The Glam Paloma. The Glam Paloma. La que es que tiene la paleta encima? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's the most simplest drink ever. And you know, all that happened. I'm going to give you credit, papi. Te voy a dar todo el crédito del mundo, papi, eh? A mi husband. <laughs> le voy a dar crédito. <laughs> Porque nunca le doy crédito por esa bebida. He was making a drink, and he was like, baby, mira, le metí esto en la Baby, you're going to fucking give somebody alcohol poisoning. He said, stop. He said, no, pues prueba esta. Y lo probé. I'm like, oh, shit, baby, this is fucking bomb. Y le ponemos una paleta. I'm like, oh, let me see. Y en la letra paleta sit in there. I'm like, oh, this shit is fucking fire. Y luego, ¿qué le pusiste? Ya me dijo. I'm like, damn, baby. I'm giving you another child tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You're like, you did good. He did good. And that's been my signature drink. Everybody likes that one. But now, like, I feel like all my drinks been very popular because of the reason that I make the hot mm. You know? And that's something that I always tell my mom. Thank you. Por meterme a la cocina, que ella tiene una tiendita donde venía chicharra, como raspados y todo. And I had to make jarabes with her. And I would hate it to a passion. But now I told my mom, mira, mamá, sus jarabes me están haciendo famosa. So you make it to stuff yeah. from scratch. Yeah, but, but me estaba saliendo muy caro. Y también al cliente. So what I started doing, I mimicked it with things off the shelf. Mm. But it took me forever to get something similar. Because my mis, mis clientes antiguos really know the taste of them. Mm. But I learned how to mimic with things off the shelf. So you had to kind of reinvent yeah. the thing. But if they want the real deal, I give them the real deal. But si cuesta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little more pricey. Yeah. No, that's crazy. So what? Let's end the the podcast. What yeah. goals do you have? Like what? What? What do you have coming? Like I have so much things coming, puppy. I have so much things. One is the biggest one is it's. I don't really want to say it now because I have my foot in there, mm-hmm. but I, I really want to announce it maybe around April, but it's something that it's that plan to say, I don't have to bartend no more. I don't really have to go out there and okay. I don't know what you have to get staff because Ooh. I need to leave staff. Right, right, right. I know. know. Okay. And so big things are coming. Big things are coming. I'm working with a lot of celebrities this year and it's crazy. Um, Cerré el año con brocha de oro. If you, if you, I don't know if you noticed. Who would you? Grupo Firme. Oh, yeah. I know. i seen that. I said, it was crazy when they hit me up. I was like, are they trying to hack me? Damn. He How said, was that? It, no words. I was speechless. And this is why I tear up, dude. Because they go, yo, cuando, you, you're, tu haces ruido. Don't think you guys don't. You guys do. I said, Rido, just do what the passion, do it with love, and do it with you. Don't try to mimic nobody. Find your style, find who you are, because that's what's going to make you, you know, whatever you want to do. So, ustedes saben que soy desmadrosa. Grupo firmes desmadrosos. That it was a perfect, <laughs> it was a perfect combination. Yeah. Damn. It, yeah, have you seen that? It was in Vegas? Yeah, it was in Vegas in the Grammys. And I met all these these celebrities. And to have reporteros you get the recognize you, that's fucking crazy. You know? 
Damn. I had reporteros recognizing me. I had um, uh, makeup artists that were there, even celebrities. You know, it was crazy, dude. I was like, what the hell? Damn. No, yeah, I seen that, and I was like tripping. I was like, dude, like, there's obviously they're big right now, and everyone's yeah. dream is like obviously to party with them, and then you're over here giving them drinks. It's like, I thank you, Edwin. Damn. Lo in qué? And I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, lo in qué? We were partying. It was fucking amazing. And I was like, fuck, Rosie, you, you're doing something good. That's fucking crazy. You're doing something good. So big things are coming. Yes. Big things are coming. Big things are coming. You guys are going to be seeing her like with a bunch of celebrities. You guys are going to see her in action. Yes. Collabs are coming. <sighs> Locations are coming. Like it's, Dios is bueno. 2022. I just say to keep a pure, honest, passion heart. And don't, otra cosa, don't force. And this is what I tell my kids. Don't force. It's like, how are you going to force? How is a bee going to force a fly? To tell them the honey tastes better. Mm. You know? Mm -hmm. If you have people around you that don't want to taste the nice honey, just keep on walking. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do your own thing. Do your own thing. That's dope. Well, thank you for being here. I appreciate I appreciate the conversation. I, we learned a lot. Hopefully, you guys... You know, I hope get you, did. Ho you guys get motivated because I mean, she's been through it all. She's fucking grinding. She's out here doing her thing. Yeah. Uh, again, thank you for always being so nice to us. Every time I see you and I run into you in events, like you're super chill. You're always supportive and and reposting my my stories, reposting everything that I do. So always, I want to thank always. you for that. Um, ever since I met you day one, you've always been super humble, always been super nice, chill, good vibes. So thank you. Thank and you, thank you no, for coming. Thank for you. Sure. Thank you. Tú también. Well, we'll have thank we'll you. leave her links down below. That way, you guys can go check out all her Instagram her do you have youtube what do you ah uh, that's in the works too mm. i have a youtube channel all right so yeah, if, so if it's shit. if it's there by that time we'll we'll, we'll leave the links down below okay. um your website everything thank you again oh, thank ladies you and gentlemen glam tender thank you guys los quiero bendiciones <laughs>